Welcome to What's for Dinner, where we cook quick and healthy meals every single day of the week, and we do it, believe it or not, in half an hour. I'm Ken Costick. That's right, he is. And Ken's right, we make absolutely delicious meals in about half an hour, and just use ingredients that you can find anywhere, because we're simple people, so we like simple things. Is that simple. correct? Simple. That's, that's, oh my God. I know you're not feeling well, and I want to give this to you. Thank there you. There you go, honey. Thank you. That's oh, for that's you. Oh, that's very sweet. Yeah. It was for free, so I picked it up and brought it to you. Do you like it? I do. Yeah. It's the thought. It's, it's the thought, thought that it, counts. Thanks, Kenny. Now, today, we're doing a spicy southern beef. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh I like that. Yes. And what are you doing? Do you care? Yes, I, I do. I love that. I'm going to be doing some uh, stuffed potatoes. I'm going to restuff so a potato. Defensive. I know. I've got a lot of issues, obviously. Yeah, but I'm sure. going to restuff some potatoes, and I'm going to do some things with a Mexican tomato called a tomatee. Oh. Tom at T.O. And I'm going to also do something over there, and I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to make a decision later. Really? Yeah. So if you want to grab your pen, I'll tell you what you require <laughs> for the spicy southern beef. This is a beef show. I wasn't very interested in oh. my dishes. I was very interested. Okay. For the dry mixture, you need one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of dried thyme, one teaspoon of dry rosemary, one teaspoon of dry basil. Boy, we're using up all our dry ingredients. We are. Half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and that adds the spice, baby. Baby. One quarter teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of white pepper, four large beef tenderloin steaks, and one teaspoon of olive oil. Now, I'm going to make a sauce with, with that. Are you yes. serious? For the sauce, you need four red sweet, pe uh, sweet red peppers, chopped, one small onion, two apples chopped, one teaspoon uh, of oil, half a cup of apple juice, one quarter cup of frozen apple juice concentrate oh, thawed, and one that. tablespoon of honey. I know it sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. The first thing I did do my spicy southern beef is I turned on my grill high. Excellent. Excellent. Yes, lay me five. A little late five. today because you're a bit, you know, you're not feeling your best. But you look incredible. Look at these. These are tomatillos, little Mexican tomatoes. You know what? I don't think I've ever seen those and before. And I'm going to fry them up. Won't those be absolutely delicious? Yes. You support me. They match I your do. shirt. Little. They do. Okay, I'll put those Here back goes the paprika. There. Now, I'm going to add all the dry mixtures into one uh, container. Coat both sides of my tenderloin steak and then grill it. So, in goes the paprika onion powder, the teaspoon of garlic powder. We have here some dried thyme. Dried thyme. Then some dried rosemary. We really used what we had in the kitchen in our uh, spice rack. Totally, didn't we? we use yeah. them a lot. And lots of people have spice Basil. racks that they've gotten for their wedding, perhaps. I didn't get any, but a little spice rack. And you let your dry dirt sit around, but you can really use them to your benefit. Don't you agree? You know what? That's a common question. If we're married? Yes. Are you serious? Do you know, do you know I get that question all the time? Well, I can't believe my mother called me last night and asked me if it were. <laughs> and I said, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting confused myself. Mm -hmm. Got to get a spoon. Okay. There we go. We've got the dry mixture done. And I'm going to get my tenderloin steak. We've got beautiful tenderloin steak today. Okie dokie. Went shopping specifically for it myself. For beef? Yes. We love beef. Yes. And if you wanted uh, to replace the tenderloin steak, you could replace it with sirloin or with a strip loin steak. That's an excellent substitution. Yes. 
It's a beef day. Can I talk a bit about beef because sure. I feel confident to talk about it? If you have 100 grams of beef, do you know that it only has 8.6 grams of fat? That's right. Like, who knew? That's and you very know what? low. That, there's a, sometimes beef gets a bad rap, it and it does. shouldn't. I know. It really shouldn't. It's very good for you. It depends how you cook it and the cut you use, but we love beef here oh, when, what's you know for what? dinner, don't I we? Do. I don't know why, but there seems to be a misconception that I'm a vegetarian. I think because I give the viewers a lot of vegetarian replacements, right. they think that I'm a vegetarian. I'm not. I Thank eat everything. I know you do. Thank you Seafood? so much. I, I gave that tip already about the 8.6 grams of fat, didn't I? You did. I did. I know. Yes. So what you I'm know doing... What? You yes. are on the ball today. Am I? I don't feel so on the ball. Oh. I feel I look a bit like a do golfer. You, do you need a hug? Do you want to give me a hug? No. Okay, I didn't no. think so. I was hoping maybe you would. Now, what I've done is I've cleared out my potatoes of some of their filling, and I'll clear out a bit more. And I'm going to uh, saute it up with some spinach and some raisins and some garlic, and I'm going to restuff them. And then I'm going to use some cheese and mix it in. It's going to be absolutely delicious, don't you think? I think so. You excited? Guess what, Mary Jo? What? Big day today. Why? It's an appliance day. What are you doing? Using the food processor. Which one? Are you sure you're up to that? I think I am. What do you think? You know what? I'm going to give you my support. Thank you. Do it. Thank you. Go get it. And today, oh, this is heavy. You this, okay? Yes. Now, I've got, to, I've got to get focused a bit because I'm losing my focus a bit. I'm going to remove your plate. Flour. That's that you for you. Gave me. And I'm going to take this burner to, um, to saute my potato fixins. My potato okay. fixins. Now, you know what? I wish I had Benjamin here today. What? He loves to he work the, love the appliances. food processor. But he had a bit of a cold, didn't he? So Benji he... had a bit of a cold. Little Benji. Did I tell you what he did the other day when no. I was coming out of my house? What did he going do? Going to the store. He yelled out at the window, Kenny, 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 Kenny. So I always know it's Benjamin. It's Benjamin. He wanted to take a picture of me with his, his uh, uh, camera, his little camera. Are you serious? Yes. For his wallet? To carry around Uncle Kenny. So that he made is so me pose. Sweet. He made me pose right on the street. And you did, didn't you? I did. For little Benjamin, I would. Benjamin's the sweetest little thing I've ever seen in my entire life. He talks a lot, doesn't he? He's absolutely adorable. He's very inquisitive. I love that. Right. Kids are very curious. I'm into that. He has a shoe thing. He always talks to me about my running Behind. shoes and my shoes. And why yeah. are you wearing those shoes, Ken? They look funny. We all want to know why you're wearing those shoes. Why? I don't know why. I'm going to get my garlic happening, and then I'm going to put in my potato fillings and uh, my spinach. Okay. I think that's it. Ooh, and I've got some fresh nutmeg that I'm going to grate into it as well. Okay. Can you support me with that? I will. I okay. will. Take over you, my You know spinach. what? You actually do look a little bit like a golfer. I look like a golfer, don't I? Arnold Palmer. Do you think? Is he a golfer? He is a golfer. Okay. I'm not feeling my best today. My Aww. most attractive. Oh. But it happens, doesn't it? To all of us. It does. It does. It does. I'm gonna S and P my spinach and get this off to the races. And I'm gonna go preheat my oven to 375 degrees for our baked spuds, don't you think? Perfect. Okay. Now, what I'm doing for my sauce is I'm going to puree the sauce, everything that I, I have here, the red pepper. It's a red pepper and apple sauce. And I'm gonna puree it and then heat it up in a saute pan. Oh, that sounds okay? absolutely excellent. Okay. So let's add in. Is oh, I'm sorry. Oh, dear. oh you're what? being very polite today. Uh, is my burner on? Yes, it is. I just don't have my burner action yet. I'm very polite every day, Mary oh, Jo. Oh, you're very polite. Yes. Aren't you? There we go. I've what added I, in the apple juice. Oh, sorry. What I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, to interrupt. Okay, Excuse go. me. I'm just going to go here. What I did is I put some raisins in with my spinach and my garlic, and I'm waiting for that to start to saute. That's and a when really it does, good idea. Yeah, I'm going to put my potatoes in. That's a very good idea, Mary Jo. Thank you. Great little nutmeg into my uh, potatoes. Now, the good thing about baked potatoes, and when you restuff them, is they don't have to be higher in fat. It really depends on what you stuff them with. Well, it's a bit of a creative thing, so That's maybe right. you can help me. But before we go to the break, I have a bit of a trivia question for my good friend, no, Ken. No, I don't uh, want to do it. it it's, <laughs> it's a good one. I think you're going to like it. When I saw the trivia question, I thought of you. Okay. What's a stinko? Ah! What's a stinko? When we get back from the break, I think that you might answer, because I think you might know. I might. You might. Stay tuned. Hello, 
And welcome back to What's for Dinner. I'm just mixing the inside of my already baked potatoes with some salt and pepper and a little olive oil. And then I'm going to add that to my delicious, in front, excuse me, honey, sure. um, my spinach and raisins and garlic mixture. But before I do that, I'd like to repeat the trivia question for mm. my good friend, Ken I was Ken hoping Bostick. you forgot it. Kenny, what's a stinko? A stinko. Don't take it personally, please. Even though you could. <laughs> <coughs> what's a stinko? Oh, oh. Excuse what's me. What's a stinko? A stinko is a very form of northeastern European cheese, aged, what? gone off. What, gone off? No, it's just a roasted veal shoulder, knuckle. It's a roasted veal knuckle. Now, it's you know what, I'm sure it's pronounced a different way than that. Uh, stinko. 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 El stinko. A stinko. Okay, what I've done here is I'm filling up my food processor. You are. I've added in my apple juice, the apple juice concentrate, and I'm going to uh, puree this before I actually put my uh, four tenderloin steaks on. Do you have a cheese preference that you want with your potatoes? Anything that you would like, because you're not feeling well today and I want to support you. Thank you so much. I yes. just feel a bit low. Yes. I can't explain why. Well, you know, these things happen. It happens. I'm using two variations okay. of uh, apples today. I'm using a Macintosh and I'm using a Granny Smith. And when you combine two different types of apples, you'll get a different flavor. That's so true. Much more flavorful. Yeah, so I've got some cheddar and I've got some goat cheese, so I'm going to stuff a couple of cheddar and some of the goat cheese. Right. So we have a very nice variety of our batots Yes. when we get to them. And as I was saying before the break, this, the stuffing of the potatoes is a good recipe uh, for leftovers that you have in the, in the fridge. Exactly. If you had some leftover beans, if you had some leftover right. cooked vegetables, you know, whatever you have, just stuff it into your potato. That's It'd be right. delicious. Okay, Mary Jo, Go this is it. it. This is the big moment we've been all waiting for. I know. Oh, baby. <laughs> Why not? There you go. There. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> now, I didn't have enough room to fit all the apple in at the same time, so I'm going to add it in now. That's a good idea. Now, this is a sauce that you're going to put over your beef. Is that correct? That's right. I'm, gonna, I'm going to gently heat it up in a saucepan. Oh, that's going to be yummy. It'll be a very nice accompaniment to the spicy beef, it don't will. you think? While this is being done... What are you going to do? My beef. Oh, your beef. On the grill. On the grill. Do you there mind doing go. my medium well? I okay. know that you find that a bit offensive. We have a saucepan here. Look at that. It's a beautiful saucepan. It's a pan, Mary It's jo. a pan. Get over it. I was just trying to support you. Okay. okay. My In potatoes are that. stuffed. And I'm going to put my cheese on now for uh, topping. I'm going to get rid of this because... I can smell an accident if you I don't. You can smell an accident happening. Okay. All right, uh. So I've got some nice goat cheese, and I've got the creamy goat cheese today, but you can get it in all sorts of different consistency, hard, semi-hard, or creamy. And this has got some nice herbs in it, so that'll be a very nice uh, accoutrement. And I'll just break up a little bit and put it on the top of our potato. And these aren't going to have to cook very long because, of course, the potatoes are already cooked. So probably eight to ten minutes in your oven will do quite to, nicely. What am I going? Tell you am I going on and on? I, I forgot what I was saying there for a second. I have to tell you something. Uh oh, what? That tenderloin steak is my neighbor Jill and I's favorite. Really? Yes. Really. When I'm feeling a bit down, a bit down. and lonely. And that must happen a lot. <laughs> you have a little beef? Excuse me, I have a cold today. I know you do. I call my neighbor Jill. And we spark up the barbecue or indoor grill and have a couple of tenderloin steaks. And, you feel and discuss better. our lives. Oh dear. How does that go? Oh, it's yeah? a long, drawn out evening. I can imagine. Yeah. Okay, I've got my cheese grater and I'm gonna grate a little cheddar. Oh, this is a tip. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one. It's a long one. Do it. If you leave the tip of your onion on, it makes it easier to slice because your onion will hold together better if you leave that end on. Ken? Very good. Oh, my goodness. Very good. I don't know what I just said. Was it a good one? Even though you're not feeling well today, I must commend you. You handled that tip very well. I'm at the top of my game, I you suppose. Are. Now, okay. Do you like steak? Oh, my gosh, I love beef. It's one of my favorite, favorite things to cook. Is it really? Yes, when I'm ever asked by somebody, what is my favorite meal? Do you say beef? Beef. It is. Oh, I'm going to do the viewer you. mail, and then I'm going to fry up oh, my... Uh, I was supposed to do... Honey, Kenny was supposed can, to do the viewer mail. You've got the main dish. You've talked about beef for 20 minutes. I think I get the viewer mail. 
She's getting back to normal. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. Remember when I was in prison? Ken? Yeah, oh, yeah. I do remember. I had to bail you out. You had to bail me out because I stole your pants, your Versace pants. Uh, what's for dinner? Dear Muscle Man and Ex-Con, I wonder which is which. Do you know? Your show is fabulous. It's the only cooking show that I have ever enjoyed watching. Hey, what do you think? Your recipes look and taste delicious. The healthy tips and helpful substitutes are great, and the friendly harassment that Ken receives from Mary Jo is right on. Oh, right. Well, great. I don't know. Was, who, who wrote this? Karen. Karen. Keep up the good work. Your okay. show is absolutely great. Thanks a lot, Karen. That's a very nice drawing, too. Oh, I like it. There, I've said it. I'm sure you do. Oh, I got now, a bit of a mess here, but I'm not going to deal with my mess now. I'm going to move over to Kenny's board and use his board to cut up my tomatoes. I want to make sure I get the grill marks properly. Okay. So we'll just turn everything around the opposite way on our indoor grill. And you know, this indoor grill, you don't have a lot of smoking. You, If you notice, we don't have any smoking No, we don't have any smoking at all, do we? We don't smoke. No, we don't. <laughs> no. Oh, look at your beef. Isn't it beautiful? Very nice cut of beef nice there, sir. Nice cuts of meat here. Yeah. There we go. Get rid of this. Now, these are very um, cool, these little Mexican tomatoes that we're using today. And I'm just peeling off the husk, and I'm going to cut them in half, and I'm going to saute them in some butter and some lemon, and then I'm going to pick a dried herb. And uh, my friend Joanne asked me to save the husk, but I, I don't think it's going to happen. No? Because they're just, it's just breaking. So, but that's okay. I have a great idea, and I have to share it with you and the viewers. Go. You know this sauce that we're doing today for our uh, steak? If you don't use all of the sauce, which you may not, you can, you can use it as a spaghetti or pasta sauce. Oh, that's excellent. Just add in some other uh, ingredients. So we use it the next add day. Add in some more uh, spices, maybe some tomato paste. Oh, that would be good. That would be perfect. That's garlic, a very good tip. A little more yeah. garlic, yeah. Excellent. So you can always make a bit more. That might be the tip that you were trying to right. get at. You could always make a little bit more or, and use it the next day. Or use it for different things. That's really the message I was trying to get across to everyone. I thought it was a dual message. I thought it had two things going I on at once. I both Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Listen, when we get back from the break, it's very exciting because I'm going to fry up these tomatoes. I've never had them before, so I'm excited. And Ken's going to talk about the dual personality of his, uh, of your son, Gemini. Ross. Are you? Yeah, Are I you a, a Gemini? I am a Gemini. When's your birthday? June 1st. Oh, you're a June baby. Yes. I'm just a month behind you, 1982, kid. I think I was born. More like 1923. We'll see you after the break here once for dinner, don't you think? Hello, and welcome back to What's for Dinner. I'm just completing my sauce. I'm going to remove it from the heat because I don't want it to bubble. I've, I've made the grill marks in my steak. Look at those. Those are the best grill marks you've ever made. I think so. Oh, they're wonderful. And Mary Jo, look what you've done here. These are my fried green tomatoes, uh, my tomatillos. Fried green and, tomatoes. Yeah, I've done them in a little butter and a little olive oil and a little lemon juice. And I'm going to display them around Kenny's meat. What do you say? I think that's going to be wonderful. Does that wonderful. sound yummy? Yes. Okay. So, I'm going to put the sauce at the bottom of this dish. That's what I'm going to do. And are you going to put any on the top of the steak no. as well? Oh, no. Interesting. That's how I'm going to do it. I like it. Now, do you want these face up or face down? How do you feel about the tomato? I think uh, face down, Excellent. like that. Perfect. Be perfect. Around your meat? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. magnificent. Because presentation is very very important, Mary Jo. I know. Speaking of which, do you like yes. your flower? I love my flower. It's so real-like. It looks very nice the way you've there got it go. placed there. Yes. I'm going to chop up some dill for garnish. For garnish. Garnish, excellent. This is one of our most beautiful dishes. There, I've said it. Look. Look at that. Sprinkle this all around oh, the Kenneth. outside. Excellent. And and you have here some chopped uh, red pepper and, and green pepper and yellow pepper. We could also use that for garnish. Why don't we do a little bit of that? And I'm going to do them on a potato, so I'll just go. Do you want it around the rim? We'll do like this type of action. Yes. Like some yellow color. Yeah. Does that look good? Looks wonderful. Okay, I'm marching. Appetizing. Oh, jeez. I'm going to march over to the potatoes. stove. Potatoes. I'm marching. Look Bring at this. Bring me those potatoes. They're coming, and they're stuffed to perfection, sir. They look it. Oh, my God. I'm oh, a little potato fried today. Mary Jo Eustace. Look, quick re recap. Okay, totally. We have here tenderloin steak, southern spicy beef. Ooh. 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 
And I made a wonderful sauce that we put at the bottom. Yes. Just below. Yeah. And we have here some stuffed potatoes that you did with all the ingredients we had in the Leftovers. fridge. Leftovers. Yes. And we had here fried green tomatoes. I know. Look at this. Look at this. It's a cornucopia of stuff. Cornucopia. And I've got some freshly chopped parsley. I'm going to do that type of action. And I'm going to do a few little peppers on my... You're so beef proud. I've never I seen am, you lift the tray I up that early. I am proud early. of this, this meat. You're going to have to put it down. It's put it down. Put it beautiful. down. Put it down. Now, we'd like to say goodbye to our viewers who are we so faithful. We want to say goodbye. And keep yes. watching and yes. writing us nice letters. And keep trying the recipes. Yeah. And write in lots of... You, you know what? We love... Viewer mail, don't totally we? Totally love letters. Yes. Ken and Mary Jo, Mary Jo and Ken, we don't care. We just have the best it viewers. Doesn't matter. And they send us tons of letters, and we, we really enjoy it, and we read them on the air, which is kind of cool, don't you so think? So try the recipes, write in some viewer mail, and join us the next time on What's for Dinner. Take exactly. care. Exactly. Take bye care. Bye-bye. Rattle those pots and pans.